What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And in this episode, we're gonna start tackling some of the interior pieces. There's a few loose ends that we gotta do, as well as we're gonna figure out something with seats and a console and mounting brackets for all that stuff. But anyways, let's dive into the episode. So here we are guys, we're inside the truck and we got everything kind of cleaned out here. I got the factory uh, pieces off of the factory bench that I'm probably going to utilize there. Um, I got this kind of marked out as to where we need to make the cut to make the shifter fit on that guy. Um, we might get a new one of those eventually and just to have it new and sealed but whatever we'll make do with what we got as well as we need to mount the transfer case shifter somewhere in here we got to figure that guy out um so yeah but this these are the seats that i had picked up they are from a 2013 fusion um i already was fooling around on here i'll flip this seat over here and uh, i kind of made a bracket here just for mock-up I'm um, not sure exactly if we're gonna run that or if uh, we're gonna get something custom made up. Uh, probably something custom, because that's what we're always doing. But anyways, here is a center console from a 2021 uh, Chevy. So that should look pretty sweet in there. Um, this one's power, I already figured out. There's only two wires. There's a yellow and red, that's your positive, and then your black wire, that's your negative, and that controls all your power functions. Um, these seats are airbag seats, um, but I went in and it's kind of hard to see with the shadow there. I went in and disconnected the airbags so we don't ever have to worry about the airbags blowing off um, if we hooked up some wires wrong or whatever else. So uh, yeah, those are the seats that we're gonna get mounted inside there. Lots of guys that use uh, Mustang seats, but Mustang seats are super hard to come by. So I found these Ford Fusion ones from the SGI Salvage. So uh, we're gonna try those guys out. Uh, and if I like them down the road, maybe I'll go with some leather ones and get some heat on there. I already got the shifter. I had to oxyacetylene the shifter. It was a straight shifter like this, but it was hitting the center console. So I just kind of torched that and give it a little curvature to it. But uh, anyways, let's get this guy on the bench. Let's cut that hole out and then uh, we'll start mocking up some brackets here for the seats to plug into and uh, we'll get her going. So let's do it. Okay guys, so as you can see, my uh, welding table and my uh, wiring table is a complete mess. So first things first, we got to clean this up so we can start making some grindings and stuff. So uh, let's do a time lapse and let's get this place into order. Okay guys, there we go. We got that kind of cleaned up. We got the wiring out of the way. And so we're gonna take the grinder there and we're gonna chop this inside square out and uh, right along there. And then we're gonna test fit it and uh, kind of see what we got. So here we go. Okay guys, we got the hole cut there. And uh, yeah, just gonna throw it out there. If you wanna sponsor Chili Willy's Customs, I really need a plasma cutter. So just throwing it out there. Maybe there's some super rich guy that wants to help a guy out watching my channel. What are the odds? I don't know. Anyways, let's uh, go check that out inside the truck. That's looking like a win to me, so. Okay guys, so here is what I came up with. I took this piece of two inch angle iron here and I cut it down so it would fit inside of the cab. And uh, what I did was I flipped it upside down and I took some measurements as to see how much I need to notch out for the hump. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this out, cut this guy and here, 
And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna bolt it to the stock seat mounting locations. Um, and then we're gonna set the seats inside there and kind of see where we are. And after it's all mocked up and everything, we'll trim some ends off and we'll clean it up so it doesn't look like a stupid piece of angle iron sticking out. So uh, let's get the grinder, let's cut this out, uh, drill a couple holes for to mount it into the truck on the stock seat mounting locations and uh, we'll go from there so let's get it Okay guys, we got that notched out to go over the hump there. So uh, let's get it in the truck and we'll test fit it. So there we go guys, it's actually sitting flat on there. So uh, let's lift a seat in here. Uh, I guess I'll have to take off that old bracket. So I'll do that quickly and we'll set a seat in here and we'll kind of figure out uh, how far back and forth that they need to be. So let's do that. Okay guys, fast forward about an hour. Um, sometimes it's really hard to take you guys along for the ride in and out of the truck, hauling seats, hauling consoles, all that fun stuff. So I uh, apologize for that, couldn't record everything. But uh, here on the floor, we got the bottom plastic off of the 2021 Chevy uh, Silverado console, but uh, this is kind of what it looks like inside the truck. So we got the fusion seats in there. We got the console in there with the bottom ripped off so we can kind of mock it up. Sorry for the lighting there. Um, this will obviously get cut off after. Uh, wherever we choose to do it. So uh, I think next we're going to drill a couple holes. We're going to have to figure out some bracing. It's pretty solid actually. Um, but we're going to have to brace to the back here and uh, get a hole drilled for this little peg. Uh, I know it's hard to see. I apologize for that. But uh, the idea was to get it on the stock mounts um, just so we didn't have to screw around with more mounting and everything like that. So uh, when you jump inside the truck here, you can see how when I bent that shifter, so we got first gear there, second gear there, and we got clearance. So that's nice. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and then reverse. So that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, it feels pretty good to sit in the truck, um, grab the shifter, and uh, yeah, we're, we're slowly getting there. So those seats, sorry, maybe I'll try and crank the ISO up. So probably super laggy. Anyways, um, we're going to uh, take some measurements, get those seats kind of bolted in there, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay guys, we got the bracket out of the truck here. We got the holes drilled where the seats are gonna mount to. So now I'm just gonna weld those nuts onto that so the bolt can drop through the seat and it'll bolt onto that bracket. So let's drag the welder out and let's get those welded. There we go guys, we got all the nuts weld it on there so let's get this back into the truck and we'll bolt those front seats in and we'll mark where those dow little dowels need to go through the floor uh, on the insides and uh, we'll drill those and then we'll figure out the other mount how we're going to support it going back so let's get this guy into the truck
Okay guys, we got here, we got uh, the bracket here for the front and for the back. We still need to drill some holes in there and uh, tap and weld some nuts on the back side. We need to drill some holes to go on these uh, existing old 67 seat rails. But uh, that's going to be it for today. Um, I'll catch up with you guys in a couple days. Um, tomorrow I got a road trip plan. Um, so yeah, we got uh, pretty far there. Bunch of welding, grinding. That's why I'm super dirty. But uh, anyways, uh, we'll catch up with you guys in a couple days. Okay guys, fast forward a few days. I'm not sure, two, three, four, something like that. Um, but anyways, uh, it's day two on working on the seats and the brackets. We got a few more holes to drill for the seat brackets and uh, we're gonna try and get those fusion seats mounted in there. Um, yeah, probably won't get to the center console, but we'll see, we'll see where we get. But anyways, we're gonna work on drilling the back holes for the fusion seats, get them mounted inside the truck. So let's haul that out, the bracketry out of the truck and let's get it on the workbench and drill a couple holes. Okay guys, so here we got the factory uh, seat rails bolted to my bracket that I made here. We just put some uh, quarter inch bolts through there. We got some quarter inch bolts through here too. So uh, let's get it thrown in the truck and uh, see if it all lines up. And if so, I think I'm gonna just tack weld these nuts on so you don't gotta fiddle around with them once it's in the truck. So let's get that bad boy bolted in there. There we are guys, we got the bracket bolted to the factory seat mounts here. I just got two bolts in for each uh, on each side. So uh, that's all in there, it's pretty solid. So what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, take it back out. We're gonna tack weld the nuts on the factory seat rails. So when they're in there, all we have to do is wrench these down and it should be plop the seats on, bolt them in and done. So we're gonna take it out for one more time and tack those on and then we're gonna put the seats in the truck. So here we go. So there we go, we got the two fusion seats bolted into the truck. Um, I snapped a couple bolts off. Uh, it wasn't lined up the greatest, but uh, I'm thinking more and more that this is just a prototype um, so I can do something better, but it's fairly solid. You wiggle in the seats and the whole truck moves. So it gives you an idea of uh, how it's gonna feel anyways. But uh, so there we go, the seats are in, they're solid in there. And uh, I gotta say, I forgot how little room there is in these regular cabs. Makes me dream of my crew cab. But anyways, uh, seats are in. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. We got the Fusion Seats Inside Project Arnie. Um, they're bolted down, a little bit of frustration, busted a a uh, couple bolts and one bolt didn't line up, so it's got to come out. Anyways, I'm thinking that this bracket's just going to be a prototype anyways to the final whatever we go with. Um, got to get the console in here yet. That might happen off camera. I'm not sure. Uh, not sure if you guys want to see every single detail that I'm doing on the truck or if you just want to overview kind of deal. But anyways, let me know in the comment section below what you guys would like to see. More detail, less detail. Uh, yeah, anyways, um, that's going to be it. 
I guess next we're going to be starting on part two of the wiring um, so we can get this thing fired up with the key. Uh, I got to get all the fluids into the vehicle. I do have all the fluids. I just need to do it. Um, so that'll probably be next episode. So yeah, if you guys are liking these videos, smash the thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. And uh, as always, peace.